Come, Huntress. Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you, to see if you need help. Bold move, Wallbreaker. Burying Takote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. I, I was just... At ease. Many in the clan agree with you. And Marshal Cotella was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light, against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Cotello showed up last, with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower, one we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing it must be reclaimed, but those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them, especially when their chaplain supports their return. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Takote another black eye? Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. There's the watchtower. I need to talk to their squad leader, Kiva. You're up next for mountaintop duty. Are you Kiva? I am. And you. You're the outlander who killed Regala's champion at the embassy. Ram squad was there. We saw your duel. Pavalo still owes me shards. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Chaplain Jera sent me. It's time for you to go home. Chera's cracked, then. There's no way our commander will allow us to leave our post. Not after our insubordination. Things have, uh, changed at the Bulwark. Dakote won't be able to stop you. Really? He's finally been taken down a notch? All right, then. The last member of Ram Squad is on duty at the tower on the mountain. Let me recall him. God. As Echo always answers. One of us will have to go up. I can get up there easily. I'll check on him. Much appreciated. The start of the climb is just across the falls. Try not to break your neck, yeah? What's going on? We're moving out. Back to the bulwark. You're shitting me. What about his Echo? This must be the start of the climb. The watchtower should be at the top. A dire can make use of this. I'm getting closer to the watchtower. Looks like I have to climb higher. I gotta take out these machines before I can look around. Okay, so where 
is the soldier assigned to this watchtower. That must be him. <laughs> Judging by these wounds, the Sky Drifter surprised him. At least it was quick. Eva sounded her horn. It's a different call from before. I'd better get back down to the watchtower and check on them. The watchtower's under attack. I need to get down there fast. I'm making good use of this. Swooping into battle. Those machines are in for a surprise. Thanks for the assist. Is the Zeko on his way down? Actually, the machines got him. Took him by surprise. I'm sorry. What? He was the first of the squad. Our best fighter. He's gone, Kiva. It's just the two of you now. Damn, Dakote. All we did was go to the embassy. Follow Chief Akaro's orders? And what do we get for it? A death sentence dressed up as guard duty. All because Takote has a vendetta against the chief. Well, that ends now. Yeah. Thanks, Outlander. Here. This is for you. Pavalo! We're moving out! Kote's politics got one of those soldiers killed. At least the other two get to go home. I don't need a chaplain telling me what battles look like. Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with hair like blood. The outlander that took down the bulwark. A lot of you killed Greta. What's going on? Regala's champion. He was one of ours. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I'll go with you. Very well. We leave for the southeast canyon. May the Ten protect you, then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. 
You do that. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. And Jataka has the stones to tell me. The commander has good reason to be strict with our water supply. You think she doesn't? I think she's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spear is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? No. I bet they dip their hand in the trough whenever they want. Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to scrape by. To fight, tooth and nail, to survive. And I'm guessing that someone is you? I've lived in the fringes of the desert my entire life. I've fought for every single mouthful of water I've ever had. I know I'm a better fighter. And I'm prettier. Uh-huh. I'd make sure everyone gets all the water they need, no matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'll be able to fix that somehow. There's always a way. I guess that's a good way to look at things. There it is. Can I get some more ammo. Follow me. You'll uh, have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon. You're uh, welcome to any supplies you can find. I need them for the fight ahead. Thanks. There we go. Let's move out. So, what's Anora looking for out in the Forbidden West? He says I'm looking for something. I doubt you traveled all the way out here just for the scenery. I'm trying to fix something. I see. All right, you can keep your secrets. Guess I should just be thankful you decided my problems are worth fixing, too. We're here. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, it will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in, and pick them off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. Hold on to any hearts you loot and I'll take them from you later.
I need to attend to the dead. It's Make sure their tags get back to their families. I should take these to drop. If you can harvest the machine hearts, I'd be grateful. May the wings of the Ten carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah. At least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Oh, hold on. Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines... I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. I lost a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged, too. Will you come with me? Lead the way. Glad to have you along. think so many have to die just to get water did you try talking to your commander at scalding spear <sighs> please the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn about that wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it i'm just passing through draka uh, you can't blame me for trying <sighs> this is it where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I'm sorry, Draka. They were warriors to the end. We should get started. Someone's alive. By the rocks. Make sense, soldier. Burrowers. Thunderjaw's back. This is gonna get rough. Everything's sticking. Ugh, damn this heat. I'll do. I should check on Draco and that soldier. Didn't think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. 
Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh... I know I'm racking up favors here, but, uh... Did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy. I appreciate the extra pair of hands, Chaplain. You've returned. Where's Draka? Just a little late, Chaplain. Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a Thunder Jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to Scalding Spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? I heard what you did at the Bulwark. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the old ones. That's one way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan. But our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. Good. The entire clan might depend on it. Why would the wounds give less water? These rations barely... Why put guards around the wounds? You can't just take away our water! The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert! What's stopping us from taking what we want and... Uh... <clears throat> Anyone else want to complain? We're the Desert Clan. We survive with what we have. Your, uh, commander's not much for hand-holding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Shall we? Sure. Can't wait. She's with me. Draka's not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. I heard you got some fresh ink. What'd you do? I took down a Ravager the last time I was out in the wild. I heard you took down the impenetrable bulwark. Takote must have had a few words for you. Actually, he was struggling to put together a sentence. <laughs> Serves him right. A true commander doesn't hide behind walls. So... This is the outlander that took down the bulwark? And now she conspires with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara. Doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the Old Ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive is completely dry. I can't promise anything, but if this wound was built by the Old Ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way. You're not Karja. We're Osiram. 
I was born amongst the Nora, as far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. What business does a Nora exception have in the West? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. This is it. The wound in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Pipes. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. What are you doing? Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Where are you going? I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Or we used to. How? Doesn't matter. What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way. Machines. Those flowers. The crown's wet too. The vein must have leaked here. Not enough to be the cause of the missing water, but enough for these plants to grow. We're on the right track. You see all that from a patch of wet sand? Yep. That mound. It looks like the metal from the wound. We really are following its trail. As I've been saying. The desert kills, but it also surprises. That goes past that ridge. We're gonna have to do some climbing. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. Machines. And a very dead soldier. Is it one of yours? I need to take a look. I need to get rid of the machines first. Follow my lead. One of Draka's men. I will cut off that dissident's head and feed it to the vultures if he had anything to do with... We don't know what happened here yet. And we still have a trail to follow. Lead the way.
water. Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams in this area. These anchors. That soldier must have used them to get up this cliff. He must have been going back to Arrowhand when those machines got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. Save like this green shine for something special. What is this? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. That weapon. Looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open, but he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. Or ignorance. I don't think this is gonna do anything. Switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Like that did something. Aloy, I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my plan worked. That should do it. This will return water to Scolding Spear? Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water, but he didn't care. All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. We don't know that for sure. Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please, to make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka. Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey, the desert was kind to lead you to us. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Riara. Maybe I can head it off. For marks are true. I see soldiers guarding the wound in the sand. But no Yara. I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. The well, water's coming back, slowly. Take a while for it to be full, but at least it's something. And now Drock has seen it too. Great. You have some nerve. You want to talk? That doesn't sound good. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it, or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. 
And it's not my fault. I already told you, Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us, and when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this! No more words! <laughs> Consider that a challenge! <coughs> Gather your squads, then, and meet us at the Gate of the Vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Leave me! This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker. You took down the unyielding bulwark. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. If what Jataka says is true, Dara and Draka will end up killing a lot more than just each other. There has to be something I can do. That's a lot of angry to knock. Draka and Yara are already here. You're, there. You're here. Ah. The flame that took down the bulwark. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan, to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No! No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it. You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Not for once we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not.
Becoming commander isn't going to change what happened to the wound, Draka. If you really wanted to help your people, you wouldn't be throwing away more lives just to change who gives the orders. You really are something, Flame of the Desert. But I didn't come all this way to let things stay the way they are. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Yara. Even numbers. <sighs> Fine, old man. It's your funeral. New rules. We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Nice knowing you, Aloy. All right, then. You should have backed down when you had the chance, Draka. It's over, Draka. <laughs> Not just yet. You did your best to follow the path. You die with honor. Did it have to end like that? It's the way of the desert. Well, what happens now? We live off the water the wound ekes out, rationing until it fills back up. And I'll make sure Arrowhand gets its fair share. Yeah, you'd better. The desert never forgets. And I won't either. How you've helped us, I mean. I give this to you now, for all you've done for this clan. You wanted to speak to me? The name's Zoka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Vareka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But Commander Yara is too busy securing her hold over the capital to spare any soldiers. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village. Find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. This must be the village Zoka was talking about. It looks like the whole place flooded. Maybe from a recent storm. I wonder if made out. Let's check around the shore. Ugh. The water feels thick. Polluted. There are a few survivors on that overlook. We should see if they're okay. Founder becoming the hunted. Is he alright? Eh, he will be. There. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. 
I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering Ashblood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. As you heard, we have many missing, but I need to keep watch on these two. I can take a look around. If I find anyone, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And if you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, uh, tell him... Tell him I'm here. Might be able to use my focus to find any survivors. There. People in that tower. Can anyone hear us? Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Flood blocked the way we came in. There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. to get to the top. Should be able to cross over to the survivors from there. There's the ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. Whoa, whoa, oh! That was our only way out! Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? Before we ran in here, I thought I saw a few of our comrades climbing up a watchtower on the north side, near the grotto. I'll look into it. As soon as you're out, head for the shore. Natika's waiting on an overlook there. So she survived. Good. We'll join her as soon as we have a way out. Okay. Sit tight, for now.
I should do it. Okay. You should have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. It didn't look like Kentok was with this group. Okay. We're gonna find this watchtower on the north end. on that broken watchtower. Should be safe if it's not now. We're coming down. Ah, you Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap maws prowling around. You sure know how to fight. We saw some of our comrades stuck on the eastern cliffs. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. Have you seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again. Wounded up here. We need an easy way down. And fast! Uh, hold on. I'll figure something out. I need to find a way for the Tanox to get down from the cliff. That big crane could help. If I can get it into the right position, I could make a bridge for them. My focus can help me search. There's fire gleam on those rocks. The commanding it should clear the way for the crane. in place. Now, how to lower it to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. No. 
better try again from a different angle. I don't think I can pull the beam from here. I have to get up higher. Maybe my focus can help here. There we go! Oh, damn it. Arm's stuck on something. I better climb up and take a look. We're clear. Blood of the Ten. How'd you manage to do that? I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it. But he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. But by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the ten. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. Thanks again, Outlander. Rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the Chief's guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakh are stubborn fighters, but Kentok? is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see- Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come. I'll show you. Natika. We need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple soldiers to the the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot of debris back in the entrance. Then the flood. I'm gonna have to clear some of it to get inside. Oh. 
Time to head in. Okay, let's see where this leads. Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, not my name. The Tika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so, he made it. Good. And... Natika... She came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. <sighs> it was... my mistake to... deny her discharge. A soldier... is supposed to sacrifice... for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The Chief's Guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So, leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out, but it's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? And not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up. You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey. I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. That waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I have to get high up to figure out where it's coming from. Water's coming from that vent. Trying to pull that. Okay. 
The waterfall I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Gotta find its source. Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire to break open that wall. This should flood. a way out. Almost there. Hey, stay with me. Tell Matika. You tell her yourself. She said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. Blade answers only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done, I could join the Chief's Guard. But I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. 